Welcome to my course for graphing the sine and the cosine functions. Now, not always am I going to jump up in front of the video like that, but sometimes to keep myself kind of sane, I will uh, do a little bit of crazy introductions here or there. So what is this course about and why exactly should you take it? Well, this course I'm going to go through the basics of graphing the sine and cosine functions as well as applying multiple transformations to graph ones that are going to be considered more complicated. If you're looking into understanding you know, what the transformations are, what the graphs look like, and how you can graph them on your own, this is the course for you. The way that I'm going to show you how to do this is I'm going to start with kind of some essential questions, things that I, uh, questions that I want you to take out of this course. Then I'm going to introduce you to uh, essential definitions and processes, the basics of what you need to know to be able to graph the sine and cosine function on your own. Then what I'm going to do is pretty much allow you to kind of work on some problems on your own. If you get stuck or you want to check your answer, I have step-by-step -step tutorials for every single problem that I provide to you. Um, and I go over kind of like some tips and tricks as well as some common mistakes at the end of the video where I kind of summarize the process as well as provide you with some uh, uh, challenge problems that are going to kind of test your skills and go forth. So I really look forward uh, to working with you and answering any questions and helping you along to graph the sine and the cosine functions. Let's get started. Thanks.